In this video, I'm going to show you how to add in multiple lines of text in one cell in Excel. So much like I've done here. So this here is one cell with lots of different lines of text in it. Let me show you how to do this. I'm going to type my name. So there we go. That's my name, Alan. If I press return, it just goes to the next cell. I'll type in another name, another name and so forth. And this is not what we want because they're all in separate cells. We want them all listed in one cell. So let me show you how to do that. Click on the cell that you wish to do this in and then type in the name. Do not press enter or return though because that will take you to the next cell. No. What you need to do on your keyboard is press alt and then press enter or return. And then you're still in the cell and you can type in all these extra names. And every time you wish to go to a new line, you just press Alt on your keyboard and either the Enter button or the Return button. Once you've done that, just press Enter or Return and then you go to the next cell. So that's one way to do it. Another way is to type the name. I'll make that bigger so you can see it. So I've typed the name and I press Return and I've left the cell. Yeah, so I'm not in that cell anymore. To make the edit to it, I simply click in the formula bar along the top and once again, press Alt to my keyboard, press return or enter. I can then type in the other names that I want. And there we see this done. If I click back in the cell, I can see the names listed in the top, but I can't see all of them. And that's because the formula bar has not been expanded to be big enough. So the formula bar, you might have it just like this. So if I click on there, you can only see Alan. You can't see Amit, Tinu and Sarah. What you need to do is click on this little drop down arrow. Now, sometimes when I click on it, it doesn't want to work. So sometimes I need to click inside the formula bar and then click on it, or just click on a cell and click on it and eventually I'll get a little bit of joy. There we go, it's done it. I have no idea why it does that. Once you've managed to expand it, you see instantly you've got more space, and then go to the formula bar, and when the arrows change on your cursor, you can expand the formula bar, and just click away. And then this way, you can always see all of the lines of text in each box in the formula bar. I hope you found this video useful. If so, please like the video, subscribe to my channel for more top tech tips.